All right, can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> what was that? Where's that a come new from? <laughs> season of Survivor. Baby. Oh, well, yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm not re- literally, but figuratively, I certainly am because we got a new season of Survivor. Survivor China. It's very different kind of setting than we're we normally get. It's like Guatemala was a little bit different too, but this this to me is like. Boom, we're in a really it's like Australian outback or Africa levels of like we're different. We're in a going to a different place. We're Taking not in the tropics up. anymore. So bringing yeah. a different vibe for sure. And uh yeah. just left stank ass Fiji, so it's time to breathe some new life. <laughs> <laughs> breathe some new life into this show. China. <laughs> Let's go to China. Yeah. Right. China. For the first time. Uh yeah. I forget the exact wording. It was like the first time a TV series had filmed a full se- season within the. Mm. Yeah, China. I think it was something like that in in mainland, mainland China, China. Yeah, I think yeah. that's thing that. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, there's not no. much to say. What happened last time on Survivor? Uh, we reviewed uh, Survivor Fiji, and uh, uh, that's, that was it. That was the last time. Yeah. <laughs> it was the last thing that happened. Yes, if you're new to the channel, I'm a big fan of Survivor. Been taking Alec through Survivor chronologically from the beginning. So he's spoiler free on the seasons to come. And he only knows Mm -hmm. what we've seen. So it's cool getting to see the transformation and natural evolution of the show. And get his first hand reactions to it when we discuss every episode. And we have a playlist on the channel with all of our Survivor videos from the first season up until now. And we've done reactions to every episode from Thailand up until now. So. Plenty of videos there for yeah. you to enjoy if you if you like this kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. I've seen this season one time, so it's going to be my second time watching. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Let's check it out, all right? Good stuff. All right, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm really excited, so. Look, <laughs> you're kind of sad. <laughs> it's truly not a good kind of sad. I was like, no, I don't want to see him go. Chicken. He's too strange. I kind of loved him. Say it ain't so, chicken um, don't go. Say it ain't so, chicken. <laughs> what is his actual name? That's, that's not <laughs> we'll his name. Know. We'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know now. Until the reunion, maybe. No, this will call him chicken. Let me look it up. Let me get that real quick. See, see what that man's name is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve. His name is just Steve, okay. Yeah. yeah, you know what? Chicken's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there you have it. Uh, it's the premiere of Survivor There it China. is. Yeah. Chicken has been voted out. Chicken was... <laughs> That's one of the weirdest things I've ever said. Uh, you know, yeah, chicken, chicken is out. A chicken nugget, chicken nuggets and a frosty. Chicken, chicken nugs and frosty. <laughs> Uh, in a biggie bag, and he flew the coop. So, yep. you know, there you go. So, yeah, well, All right. interesting. Interesting. So, it's it's kind of a back-to-basics approach here, the Survivor, hmm. which is interesting. We don't have what? any talk of... Any, we don't have any talk of hidden immunity idols. We don't have any talk of any of exile. that sort of stuff going on. There's no, ex, there's no exile. None of that. It's... 16 so 8 v 8 mm-hmm. kind of back to back to basics mm. in terms of this thing but it's a whole new setting and i think they're they're leaning into the setting a little bit here at least in the first episode you know it's hard to judge the whole season as a whole now but mm-hmm. first impressions they're trying to let the setting do more of the the narrative um currently yeah. um which is fine. I think that's kind of what you want to do, especially when it's so drastically different than just a tropical setting. Um, you know, it's like, yes, uh, Thailand, Fiji, uh, Panama, all have different, like, different uh, uh, cultures and stuff to interact with, but there's a little sameness in terms of the, how they feel a lot of the time. Yeah. Uh, but here, here is totally different. Um, so it's like vibes of outback vibes of uh you know against the elements uh, is going on here so you know there's always a little bit of that especially early on when you got to build a shelter but 
mean, it's about building a shelter. It's not about looking for, it's not about sending people to exile or anything like that. There's not pre-built shelters and it's just that classic, classic survivor feel going on right now. Yeah. So classic so much so where it's like, you know, <laughs> the discussion just became, all right, who did the least amount of work? Yeah. And she was sick. <laughs> yep. You know, we've had, so we had a few seasons early on where it was like, this girl is sick. Let's put her out. Cause she's sick. Yeah, get her out you of know. here. This is what it yeah. is. Sorry, no hard feelings. But ultimately, Chicken goes because <laughs> he did not want to state his opinion. He's like, I tried one time. I'm not going to say any more opinions. Yeah, it was like <laughs> he tried once and got pushed back, and then he's like, I'm not doing it anymore then. And it's like, come on, man. That was on the first day. You can't do that the whole time. <laughs> People ask him for opinions. He's like, mm, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, and PG's like, no, I I asked He's... you two different options. <laughs> well, you yeah, need to I'm tell down. me what, what do you think. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. So... It's, it's between those two. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that that <laughs> is a leader trying not to be a leader, right there. He's mm. like, I will not make any decisions from here on out. Absolutely not. You will not hear me make yeah, one opinion. Did... Not one opinion will come out of my mouth. Well, it did come across that way because he did say, "I know more than any of these these young young folk." Um, right. And uh, yeah. and then they didn't go to him for anything, and then he got kind of got kind of yeah. He's with like, it, he's so. like, I do this work. I know, I have the knowledge, but he's like not actually using it for anything. You know, he's like, I know. <laughs> it felt very like, oh, like a chicken. Well, that was my tip. <laughs> it was supposed to be more like more like he's wearing like uh, it's like, very much like this. But yeah, it was very much na, like na, this na, 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 kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it was like Chicken was not willing to even give an opinion. Uh, so he's like, the qualities that make him valuable as a tribe member are his knowledge of an expertise yeah. in this kind of environment. Yet he was not giving them, so he's actually of no value as a result. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, and it's that's like, I guess that's kind of how they voted that that out there. He's like, Especially I mean, I will like, put Ashley the sticks down. If like you decide nothing. where I'm going to put the sticks, I'll put them down, even if I know there's not the right way to do it. I'll do it. I'll put in the work, <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you otherwise. Yeah. You know, okay. It's like, come on, man. You got you to gotta work with it a little bit. It was so weird. He's, like He's truly he an enigma. So... I mean, I feel like these people were like, yeah. we can't even communicate with this man. Like, like He doesn't talk like a normal person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I asked him like what what his favorite uh, food is and he's saying I agree. I'm like what what's going on here? I mean yeah, it was, it was almost to that degree. Like it was just very bizarre. Um it's like, no, what is your favorite? So, like, so much what do you like to do? It's like yeah, I'm down I'm like whatever you guys kind of do, I I like to do that. It's like chicken. Come on. Chicken, yeah. It was even is even to the point where like even Ashley who was like Ill, violently ill and then after she was better, she still wasn't really doing anything that we saw. Anyway, uh, she may have very certainly helped out, but we didn't see any of it. Mm-hmm. Um, where she's like, "Yeah, that's whatever. I guess I'm gonna coast along because Chicken's just being a weirdo." <laughs> like, so I think Ashley was the one who voted for PG, right? She voted for P. She was the one that voted for PG because she's like, she's a little bossy pants, what? and I don't like that she's crying. But then she's Wait. trying to be a leader. Was and that like, just a statement, okay. or did she not get the chicken memo? Like, what's good? Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I guess. Yeah, but then, either, like, either D- or. Dave and Chicken voted for Ashley because she, yeah. did, she did the least amount of work. You know, who cares if she's sick or not? Yeah. She did the least amount of work. Yeah. Very exciting stuff in terms of the strategy. Yeah. For so, as always. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's always Chicken, an enigma, as Chicken himself really is an Chicken enigma. Chicken in an iconic exit as well for Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we're all visiting. Yeah, everyone jumped. Everyone jumped. Yeah, you got to play the back. It's it's such a gold to play back. See their reactions. (laughs) It's so good. That's amazing. Everyone's like shocked. He shooketh everyone. Like, (laughs) that's the most noise that man's made. That's that's the most noise that that man's ever made. Like combined, you combine all the times of him talking. You stack those up volume wise on top of each other. It doesn't even come close to reaching as loud as he was there. Yeah. 
<laughs> Everyone, like, <laughs> they look like they're they're very afraid. Like, you good? <laughs> they am. <laughs> like that wasn't a genuine damn uh, right. Like he just wanted to make some noise. I don't it know. Feels like like he was just like maybe he's like damn. I gotta do something. Yeah, you know, it was like is that yeah, it kind of felt like he was putting on a. I don't know. I don't know. It, maybe he, he might have been putting it on a little bit. But he's remembered through the annals of Survivor history for that very moment. He's very, <laughs> he's a very iconic <laughs> exit. <to> the... <laughs> well, it's just very weird because there's like a little pause, and then he just does that, and he spooks the two contestants in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> he's one of the most memorable first boots in Survivor history for sure. He's like, yeah. You know, <laughs> he's so weird. He just I, comes out there, doesn't he, want to give an opinion. His name is Chicken. He's a chicken farmer, <laughs> and he says, "Damn," and he's gone, just like that. He's like, "Did he ever even exist to begin with?" <laughs> you know, when you put it all like that, it really is pretty. I mean, it's pretty amazing. It's crazy. It is certainly an enigma. I've never, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's very bizarre. Anyway. Mm. So, <laughs> on the episode, um, um, how do you feel about the intro we got? Like, we're thrust right into it. It was it was an interesting intro because we they did something that I don't really remember it necessarily think that they've done before. But they introduced everybody to a degree where they gave them like a little, almost like a little informational snippet about them. Mm. Like in the sense that like you almost got like a little like by quote from them, like a little bit. You know, I, I don't know if it did that for every single person, but they did it for like quite a few of them. And I thought that was a really interesting way to introduce people that they hadn't really necessarily quite done. Yeah. Um, and that made it more memorable to me. It kind of like stuck, those people kind of stuck in my mind a little bit. So it was kind of yeah, neat. So we've got a gay kinda flight kinda attendant. Uh, the gay flight attendant. New York the waitress. Gay Mormon. Yes. <laughs> the gay Mormon flight attendant. The grave digger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like a grave right? digger. That's a, that's a new one. Um, <laughs> and, but then we got uh, right into this uh, little like welcome ceremony that they did, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And Jeff's like, let me be very clear. I know you have your different religions. This is not a worship ceremony. Let's just, you know, they're, they're trying to respectful. welcome you, you know. It's like, all right, so go ahead. And Leslie's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. She goes. She has. She, she's just out of she there. can't finish. His, she can't finish it. Um, she's out of there. What do you think about that? You know. Um, I think, I think there are some people that are uh, maybe a little too, like I. I know people that would probably be very similar to that because they're very like, they're very rigid in terms of what it necessarily means to like be a Christian and and like what their walk looks like. But I, I've always sort of like. I've always looked at it like, look, you believe you believe that like God is the true God, and you believe Jesus is his, the, the Savior who comes, you know, is washes with the sin, sins of the world away, you know, all this, all the, the Christian stuff. But like, so what does that? So what power does that idol actually have mm-hmm. to you as a person? It has none. Right. You're not actually worshiping it. It is just a. It is a graven image. This isn't the times of the Old Testament where people were legitimately worshiping those as effigies of their gods. I mean, to a degree, in in Buddhism and in Hinduism, yeah, sure, there's there's elements of that, that still at play. But are you actually worshiping them? No. Then it's then you're fine. <laughs> you're okay. Mm-hmm. It's it's fine. Just you can be respectful. You don't have to tout your, you know, whatever. Right. I don't know. And some pe- some people are just a little I think are tend to be maybe a little too up uptight for my personal liking when it comes to that kind of thing. Like I get it. Everybody's got their own preferences. Particularly I would say like the older crowd of uh, you know, people that came up in the in the like 50s and 60s in terms of like their the old their faith upbringing. There was like a fundamentalist sort of thing where it's like you have to be very rigid in your terms of your Christianity in terms of like how your practices and I mean, there's an element of it that I can respect. Uh, I'm a I'm a fairly traditional kind of guy, but the stuff like this, I'm like, come on, <laughs> I mean, like, you're not worshiping it's, anything. It's shades of um, Joanna in the Amazon, where she was like, yeah. 
Hail do not worship yeah. false idols. Like she didn't even want anything to do with the yeah. winning immunity. Right. You know, <laughs> yeah. Get the like, immunity idol <laughs> it's yeah keep it away it's a curse it's the like, immunity idol is a curse but yeah. it's a blessing that she did not come uh in the past couple of seasons where we had hidden immunity idols c- coming out yeah, too. No. It's like, <laughs> Jesus. Hidden idols we had hidden idols yeah exactly. <laughs> hidden <laughs> idols. Like, they're, they're they're out to get you you see so, how y'all man worship go. that turtle that was crazy yeah <laughs> 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 he wears his tongue out and everything. <laughs> but it's like uh, almost like Jeff, like they knew when they were casting her, Leslie, they knew that's like yeah. what she was all about. So the, it's almost like Jeff yeah. made that comment specifically for her. It's like, this yeah, is not a I worship really ceremony, Leslie. Yeah. So carry <laughs> on. <laughs> and then he almost she, felt uh, like maybe the another version of that that was what he said yeah leslie this is not a worship and ceremony still, they come they're like come on we even clarified it and everything and she's like no i think i don't know i think you might have just gotten it wrong jeff this looks like worship to me yeah <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't, don't want to take any chances here <laughs> i'm not taking a chance lady you don't even know who any of those people are you don't know who how do you know what you're if you're worshiping them but you don't know who they are or anything about yeah. any of them. You don't know anything about this religion. So are you really worshiping them? <laughs> it's like, whoops, I accidentally <laughs> worshipped this. <laughs> little whoopsies, I accidentally bowed down to, like, like the whole thing about, like, you know, there, there's a story of, like, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and the King Nebuchadnezzar is like, you're going to bow down to this idol, or I'm going to throw you in the fiery furnace. They knew... Who the god was that they were supposed to be bowing down and worshiping, and that that's why they said, No, we're not doing that because we don't believe in this. Mm-hmm. And they stood up to the king and they're like, No, we're not doing that. Like, we believe in the one true God, and we don't believe in this. this they knew what they were doing. <laughs> this is a I don't even know who these people are, <laughs> and, mm-hmm. I, I'm, and I'm bowing down to be respectful. I'm not bowing down because I'm actually worshiping them. <laughs> there's there's t- so, the point there is like, there's time to take a stand. That is not one of them. You're you're not facing utter death if you don't do this. Mm-hmm. You're facing. I'm being respectful to this people in this culture. Like you're in. You it. are on Survivor China. You, like you were there. Yeah, you're on Survivor. China. <laughs> you're not. You're like, not facing Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> you're not. You're not standing up and saying, you know what? I'm gonna face the fiery furnace for for this. And it's like you're right there. Here. You're in their home, right? It's like they're trying to welcome you. It's not a worship ceremony. They're trying to welcome you. <laughs> <laughs> you, say, you say that thing, you broke it down <laughs> like, <laughs> systematically yeah. and then uh, we had Courtney in there who was not feeling it and, oh uh, yeah that was immediately I was like not nope, you're losing me the guy yeah, was, was like, trying to gonna, her, her form lady, needed like, work mm-hmm. her form needed work the guy <laughs> he, was really <laughs> he kept fixing her yeah he kept like and he was like no no you gotta be higher up <laughs> he kept like like yeah, slapping her wrist to be like no no you do this yeah, that was, that was entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, then we had the immunity challenge, which was the where they had the dragon, the red dragon, and the yellow tiger, and they were carrying the poles. And then Frosty and James did some parkour. It was pretty epic. I called it running tiger maneuvering dragon. <laughs> okay, it was really <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, it was pretty. That was a great. It, it was visually very cool because I mean they they're carrying these big like the the ceremonial like uh, dragon tiger you know the stuff in the, a lot of the, the dance ceremonies and stuff and it was it was neat. It was really fun visually for them to do that and yeah, yeah. James freaking owning. He also had the great voice line. I bury people. <laughs> like oh, yeah. what do you do? <laughs> I bury people. <laughs> yeah, just very matter of fact about it, you know. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah, probably it, the description of this video. Yeah, uh, I bury people. I bury, I bury people, or, or just damn. Um, I don't know. It's just da- damn. <laughs> what what else happened um, in this episode? Um. Oh, uh, Jean Robert and uh, was it Todd? I believe got into it. Mm-hmm. Sort of talking about like like J. Mm-hmm. I call him Jr. As well, I I have him listed as like Jr. Because that's a nice easy. Mm-hmm. Remember, but Jean Robert was uh, 
He's kind of like, I don't believe you're a flight attendant. He's like, I don't know. There's something something fishy about you. Yeah, and then it cuts to confessional, and... like, as a poker player, I've known for my my reads, and uh, yeah, it's just the and first it's like, the first read he makes is wrong. The first read he made is wrong because Todd is in fact a flight attendant. But he says, I don't know, there's something um, devious about you, you know. And yeah, Todd is like, you know, yeah. he's right about that. I'm like, I'll do whatever it takes to yeah, win. I'm a devious, devious guy. You know? He like tells well, he, he tells him though. He's like, can you just not tell anybody that that you think I'm this smart player? Because not a good look. Yeah. yeah. No. Well, so so the read of it, him lying about being a flight attendant may have been wrong, but him being like you're a devious player was was a was a correct read at the very least. Supposedly, so. supposedly. Yeah. Um. PG uh, took took charge to sort of crying about because of how overwhelming it was. It was like they lost, but also they had all this work to do because no one's doing any work at camp. Yeah. So she sort of took charge, and then that bugged some people, I guess. But our boy Dave, classic classic Dave maneuver. <laughs> you know, he's just out there. He's taking charge. He he wait, he he was like reassuring to everyone. He felt like dad. Yeah. Like he's like. Right, just let it all out. Let it all out, oh. honey. And he was like, he's just like, you know, let it all out. And then, and then with Ashley, he was just, he was just like, he like even goes up to her and he's like, don't, don't you dare think that just because you're sick, you're on the chopping block. And then the confession, he's like, she's on the chopping block because she's sick. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. she better get better. I thought she'd be stronger than this. <laughs> it was like very like disappointed dad energy. It was very funny. <laughs> um, so. But yeah, then that was like yeah. the whole topic of discussion. It was like Ashley's Ashley's sick. Yeah. So she didn't do as much work as these other people. But chicken is chicken, so that's kind of worse. Yeah. yeah it's just, <laughs> it's a chicken's just being a chicken. Chicken's you know? gonna chicken. There it is. Yeah. There it yeah, is. About it. Any other uh, or any standouts in terms of the people we've met so far? Yeah, I'm interested to see this the J.R. Todd dynamic. I'm interested to see where that goes. Oh, uh, Sherry, I think they said Sherry. It was mm-hmm. it, her name was spelled like I think that it is pronounced Sherry. She she was kind of she said something that was sort of funny. I I don't remember what though. Basically, she was just talking about like how hot and miserable it was. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, uh... they put her in heels and a dress like. Oh yeah, she was in heels and a dress. Yeah, it was like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> to this is this what happens when you yeah they do like these spontaneous yeah. your the clothes on your back? It's like, well, the guys probably are gonna be okay. They're just like wearing some like yeah. jeans. Well, well, <laughs> Rupert, Rupert, uh, famously yeah. is not yeah, have a je- fun time in jeans. It's like so yeah, wet. Je- <laughs> yeah, jeans are miserable. Yeah. Jeans need to chafe, chafe like <laughs> yeah. a mofo, but. But, um, I mean, you know, like if you're in like yeah. shorts and like yeah. sneakers or whatever, you know. And then, but then we yeah. have like, yeah, Jamie had no bra, and, and Jeff, of course, jumped on the opportunity to make a cheeky comment. And, and then, be like, oh, you're gonna be really popular. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and then, someone else said something. Oh, well, um, Ashley was in like freaking fishnets and like yeah, huge boots, like heavy combat boots. boots yeah. So, yeah. And then. Um, yeah, so it's like, yeah, these dresses and stuff that are just not built for this environment whatsoever. Yeah. But, all right, well, is that it for the episode? I think that's about it for now, yeah. All right, well, who would you give your MVP for the first episode I mean, of Barbara China? I, I mean, <laughs> it can literally only be one person, and that's chicken. Dang. <laughs> that's damn uh that's that's been like the one of the strongest first impressions i think i've ever gotten from from a from a somebody who got kicked out the first episode i was like wow i'm sure you got the impression he would be he would be the winner this season right he was the winner material (laughs) uh yeah easily the winner he refuses to talk (laughs) to anybody he refuses to give his opinion he's definitely a winner that's for sure and when he's done and when he does talk you don't quite understand it fully yeah, I was like the first thing out of his mouth. I was like, I don't think I understood like maybe four words in that sentence. Brilliant man. Oh so, mm. yeah, that's that was something. Something. <laughs> chicken, <laughs> chicken was not ready for this game. He really wasn't. I, I think I, 
I said something during it about like, oh yeah, it reminds me of some some like more the more rural Virginian people. I was like, no, that's an insult to the rural Virginian people that <laughs> I've met. <laughs> you can understand them more often than that. You know, uh, someone made a comment. Or there was a comment on our Survivor Fiji review that we were talking about that I had shared, mm-hmm. where they were like, "Lisi is an underrated, like horrible Survivor player." I think Chicken, like I think Chicken gets the crown here. I mean, he's he's perhaps the worst <laughs> Survivor player we've seen. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he might be. He's right up there. I mean, to the point where you're like, you have skills and experience, and you absolutely could could make your position known and you just refuse to do that because of a, a single slight yeah seems and, very odd to me and usually the person with the skills experience is like kind of like a little cushion at least you know it's mm-hmm. like we'll hang on to them at least for one or two votes you know because they can help but that was not enough to overcome like him just like tanking his own game not Doing well, our, well, our boy BB, our boy BB got cut pretty early though. Was he two though? He was the number two. Was he yeah, first? Sonia, yeah. Sonia was the first one voted out with her ukulele. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, right, right. I uh, mean, I mean, I think she's, I think Chicken's worse than both of them, honestly. Oh, easily, they, yeah. It's so much worse <laughs> that he, they were the first season. Like he knows better, you know. You've seen so many seasons. Yeah. Uh, right that are out there to see and you come out here like yeah. i'm not gonna give an opinion and uh <laughs> <laughs> not gonna provide any skills here okay All and right. already you know. he was already even saying like i don't fit in like that's just <laughs> he, probably, he probably knew from the jump that but he I wouldn't do work. fit in easily but yeah it was like effort, okay yeah. that's that's a reason enough for you guys to get rid of you now i guess <laughs> so there you go that's it well that's Survivor China episode one. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the episode overall? Uh, overall, I mean, I, I, first impressions, um, not as interesting cast. I will say that uh, mm-hmm. right off the right off the rip. Um, not the not you know we're kind of back to there's a little bit of Whitey McWhiterson in most of the uh, most of the cast, so mm-hmm. that's you know, you know back to that, but. Um, but I'm still I'm very intrigued. I, I aside from that, I like the back to basics approach in terms of like it's two teams of eight, um, no gimmicks yet. We're just kind of seeing where that goes. So, and it's really kind of focused on the setting, and I like that. So I don't know. It's a decent. It was a fine enough Survivor first episode. Yeah, and it will always be in our hearts. For chicken, well, because a chicken, it's the chicken, chicken episode. I mean, you know, Chicken Little, right there. Yeah, there he is. Are you gonna be a chicken so. farmer named Chicken? It's like <laughs> it's like a real clever nickname they call me back home. You know, they call me Farmer. All right, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, if you uh, enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Yeah. Leave a comment. We're uh, we would love to hear your thoughts, spoiler-free thoughts. If you, if it would be nice, so we could read them uh, and talk about them, uh, and we'll always read them on the next episode of the Talk Around podcast that we record. There's always a timestamp on each episode that you can go to see us reading our comments. Um, and then next week there'll be another episode. There's always a new episode of Survivor every week, and yeah, stay tuned for more. In the meantime, why don't you go check out the premiere of Survivor Fiji, all right? The season we just yeah. finished. Go back. Go back. Back in time. Back in time. Right. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot.